Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the beautiful Moroccan tile stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a wonderful stitch to work. It's a similar pattern on both sides. And uh, once you get the hang of it, it's fairly easy to work. So today we're going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as long, along with a little bit of worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, and you can find links to these items in the description of this video. Also there in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This uh, channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning. Our stitch today is worked in rows and you're going to work the stitch in two different colors. So we're going to start with a color A and make a slip knot. We're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three stitches plus two. So today I'm going to begin by chaining 23. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, we're going to work a bit of a foundation row. So we're going to begin with our color A and single crochet into that second chain from your hook. This is just going to get us set up to work the Moroccan pattern. You're then going to chain two, skip the next two stitches, and single crochet into the next chain two, skip the next two stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next stitch. Once you have worked all the way across row one, you'll have finished with a single crochet into that final stitch. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop our color A, do not turn your work, and we're going to be picking up our color B back over at the start of our row one. So you either want to pull this loop up so that it doesn't get lost, or you may use a stitch marker just to mark it so that it doesn't pull through. You're then going to go back to the beginning of row one and into this first chain one space, join your color B yarn. You're then going to chain one and work a V stitch into this first space. To work your V stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, so work a double crochet. You're then going to chain one and work another double crochet into the same space. That's your V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're then going to skip the next single crochet and into the next chain one space once again work a v-stitch double crochet chain one and double crochet repeat this all the way across to the final chain one space so v-stitch all the way across in each chain one space to the end of row two. At the end of row two, you've come all the way across working V-stitch in each chain two space. You're then going to just pull that color B loop up a little bit. 
we're going to remove our hook and we're going to pick up our color A again. So placing your color A on your hook and there's no need to mark that color B yet because we're going to work into it in just a sec. So with our color A now we're going to chain one and then draw the color A through the color B loop. So we're just going to draw it through and then you can pull that loop tight. So now we're working up on the same level as our color B. The color changes I find in this pattern are the most tricky part of working it. So you're still working in your color A, your color B is nicely secured. You're going to chain one once again and turn your work. You're now going to work a V stitch in your color A, this time beginning in the first skipped single crochet stitch. So there's two rows below. So there's a single crochet in your color A, two rows below. You want to work a V stitch in there working over top of the space, uh, the first space after your V stitch in the color B. So yarn over, working over top and into that first single crochet stitch down below two rows, work a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're then going to skip the next V stitch and into the next skipped single crochet two rows below, working over top of the space between your two V stitches in your color B, you're going to work another V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working V stitches into each single crochet, all the way to your final single crochet, two rows below. At the end of row three, you come all the way across and you work your final V stitch into that final single crochet. You're then going to once again drop your color A, either pull up the loop or place a stitch marker on it if you're worried about it falling through. And you're not going to turn your work, but head back to the start into the first chain one space. And you're going to draw your color B up into that space. You're then going to want to chain one. We're now going to work our first V stitch in our color B into the same chain one space. So work your V stitch into that first space. And when I'm working, there is a little bit of uh, color B pulling up through there, but I'm going to work over top of it just to kind of seal it, conceal it a little bit better. You're then going to skip the next space and into the next chain one space of your next V stitch, work your V stitch in color B. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working V stitches in each chain one space of the row below all the way across to your final V stitch. Once you come all the way across on your row four, you're going to drop your color B briefly one more time. Pick up your color A. With your color A, chain one, and then pull your color A through that color B loop and pull the color B loop tight once again. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work more V stitches, this time working in the spaces between the two V, uh, the next two V stitches. So skip the V stitch and in, over the space between those, the first V stitch and the next one, 
and into the space between the two V stitches two rows below you're going to work your V stitch so yarn over insert your hook into that space two rows below and work a V stitch skip the next V stitch and repeat V stitch in the, the space between the next two V stitches working two rows below and you're going to repeat this all the way across At the end of row 5, when you come all the way across, you have one V stitch remaining in your color B. You're going to skip it and working into the top of the final double crochet stitch, two rows below, you're simply going to work one double crochet. That brings you to the end of your row 5. You can then mark that final stitch or draw your loop up a little bit longer. Return to the first, uh, the first side, the start, <laughs> and you're going to pull your color B up through the chain one space of that first V stitch. You're then going to chain one and we're going to work our V stitches and our color B, this time working in each chain one space all the way across. So into that first space, work your V stitch, V stitch into the next chain one space, and repeat all the way across. At the end of your row six, you've worked your V stitch in the final chain one space. You're going to remove your hook from your color B, pick up your color A once again, and chain one, and then pull your color A through that color B loop. You're then going to chain one and turn. We're now going to work a V stitch into the space two rows below between our double crochet and the next V stitch. So chain one and down into that space working over top of the last row into the space two rows below, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. You're then going to work V stitches in the space between your next two V stitches, two rows below, all the way across. So skip that next V stitch, space two rows below, work one V stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row seven, when you come all the way across, you're going to work your final V stitch into that final space, two rows below. You can then remove your hook from your color A and mark it. Now for the rest of the pattern, we are going to repeat rows four, five, six, and seven for as long as you would like. So you're going to begin by uh, chaining your color B up into that first chain one space, chain one, and work your V stitches in each chain one space across, and so forth. Uh, so repeat rows four, five, six, and seven for as long as you would like, fasten off, weaving your ends, and that is how to work 
the Moroccan tile stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments how you would use this stitch in a project. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.